So um, ultimately, why do we care about uh, traffic noise in particular? Um, the, the bottom line is it's really probably the most pervasive environmental noise we're faced with. Not so much because it's loud, but because it's everywhere. It's, um, a way to illustrate that is my first audio example here. Um, but the question is, which of these would you like to live next to? first step is really awareness, and uh, for a lot of people that's already happened. They know there are quieter pavements and it can affect traffic noise. The next part of, of implementation is actually coming up with measurement methods to actually start to look at using quieter pavements and you need to know how to measure it. So um, that's the first step. The next typically is surveys. So once you have a measurement method that's proven and uh, standardized, you go out and measure a lot of different roads uh, to find out what the pavements um, different levels are. This can be done in different places, but typically uh, agencies will do it in their local area because those are pavements they know they can build if they find a uh, quieter one. And also they'll do surveys, um, more academic surveys, to look at what's been done in the literature and, and report it elsewhere. After the surveys, they pick uh, quieter pavements and they usually end up doing demonstration projects or research projects to see how much noise reduction they can actually get uh, by using a quieter pavement. Um, and after that comes the next, the more tedious one is longevity studies. Uh, how long does a quieter pavement stay quiet? And that, that's a really big issue. And finally, once you've addressed all these things, you come up with an implementation strategy. How am I going to take these elements and combine them into a uh, systematic way of looking at uh, noise abatement?